Hello everyone, today we'll be going over Yusako training milking cows. This problem is asking us to find the longest continuous time of milking and the longest idle time. And we're given n farmers and for each of the farmers we're also given we're also given the starting and ending time of the farmers. For this example, we have farmer one milking from time 300 to time 1000. We have farmer 2 milking from time 700 to time 1200. And we also have farmer 3 milking from time 1500 to 2100. For answer, we, we have the longest continuous time of milking as 900 because it's from 300 to um, 1200. And our longest idle time would be 300 because it's from 1,200 1, to 1,500. Since in this time, there's no farmers who are milking. So let's model this problem out. All right, so for our first farmer, we have from here, we have 300. We have 1,000. We also have 700 to 1,200, and we also have 1,500 to 2,100. All right, so um, let's actually mark these points out as starting or ending points. So over here, we have this is starting. So this is, yeah, this is start, and red is end. All right, so for our starting points, we have 300, 700, 1500, and that's it. So, and for our ending, we have 1000, 1200, and 2100. All right, so if we actually just sweep through these points, we can keep track of the number of farmers who are currently milking. So, over here, let's have it in green where we have the. So, over here, after this, we have one farmer milking. After this, we have two farmers. And after this, we have one farmer. And this is because we start off at here, so we have one farmer. And then at point 700, you would have two farmers because there is farmer one and farmer two milking. And over here, we have zero farmers. Over here, we, we would have one farmer since we're, since farmer three is starting and at time two, Thousand one hundred, we have zero. All right, so to keep track of both the um, longest, um, longest continuous time of milking and longest time of idle, let's have two variables called current of milking and current of idle, and both of these are initially zero. Okay. So at time three, 300, let's actually make a table. Our current milking would be zero because it would still stay the same and same would go for, because, because um, we would actually calculate from the start and since there's no nodes or no like time after the first point, we don't need to calculate it. Whoops, and four, let's use black. So and for time seven hundred, our um our current milking time would be seven hundred minus three hundred because there is a farmer that's currently milking. So it would be zero plus four hundred, which is four hundred, and our current um our current uh idle would also would be zero because there's a farmer that's currently milking. And let's draw another one. So we have 1,000. All right, so for 1,000, there is currently a farmer that's milking. So then we would um, we would add 1,000 minus 700, which is 300, to our current milking. So then it would be 400 plus 300, which would be 700. And, and our current idle would still be zero. All right, 
So for whoops, that's black. All right, so for time one five zero zero. This is a little bit more trickier because I, I mean it's actually one two zero zero. So one two zero zero. So for this one, we're actually supposed to add the number of um. We're supposed to add, we're supposed to add two hundred because before this ends, we still have one farmer that's milking. So we add two hundred to this, which is nine hundred. And same goes since we're still milking. So the current, um, the current idle will be zero. And now for one five zero zero and two one zero zero. So over here, before this point of time, where we actually have zero farmers milking. So over here, this would be zero, since for this case, we have zero farmers milking. So then you would not have any farmers that's milking. So then the current con continuous time of milking would be zero. And our idle time would be 300 because it would be one five zero zero minus one two zero zero which is three hundred all right so for our final one our um our current milking one would be it would it would be um you would add two thousand and one hundred minus one thousand and five hundred which would be six hundred so then your it would be six hundred plus zero which is six hundred and then your current idle would be zero because you're adding a new, um, you're adding a new, uh, like farmer since there's multiple farmers. So to calculate this right answer, we just, our answer of milking would just be the, would just be the maximum of the, of, of, of the current, of all the current milking and our answer for our for our idle would just be the maximum of our cur cur whoops cur of idle and in this case th this would be 300 and for this it would be 900 which is what we want all right so let's get to coding so Okay, so let's start. So we include our header file. Okay. So we have that, and then we define our main function. All right, so we have n as the number of farmers that's milking. And we also need to read from file. So if stream fn milk to the n, a stream f out milk to the out. And so we read n. So we need to keep track of the um, of the intervals or points to be to be exact in in like in chrono in chronologically order. So then we could keep track it keep it track of in a pair. So it would be let's just say using point. It'd be a pair int int. So basically, the first one would be the would be the time, and the second one would be if it's a start. Or if it's an end, so we would have let's let's have a vector of points. Our point called P. So over here for each, since there's n farmers, we're supposed to read all of them. Okay, so we have our start and end. So it's it's F and. Okay, so let's read these. So, um, so our so we would push back. The first one is the time for the start, so we put push back s, and let's put it as um negative one. P dot push back, and let's put it as one. As so basically one. I mean negative one is start, and one is end. Okay. So we need to sort our vector so we can get it in in order of the time. So sort it. All right, so then we're supposed to look loop through each of those. So there's so loop 
through each of them. So now we need a few variables. We need our number of farmers that's milking, and that would be zero. We need our current M, which, which would be originally zero. And we need our current I. And we also need our answer to keep track of the maximum of them. So our answer and our current, I mean, answer of idle. All right, so now we need to update our current ones. So we need to update our current ones. So we only update it if it's not the first point. So we have something behind or in front of it to keep track of. So if i is not good to zero, then so if we have, we, if you have um, not famous farmers, if there's farmers, which means that there's a farmer that's currently milking, then we would set our current M as it would be the original one plus the um, the difference of the times, which is P of I of first minus P of I minus one first. All right, so for our next, and then over here, we, we would reset our our idle current idle time and then it will be close to zero then if there's no farmers that's milking then our current m would be equal to zero since there's no continuous time that's milking right now and our current of i would be equal to it would be equal to the original one plus the difference of the times p i minus one dot first all right so over here we need to update our farmers so if so so over here i said that if it's negative one then start so if p of i that second if it's equal to negative one then you would then your farmers would increment if it's not then you would decrement it and now we need to update oh not farmers I keep putting typos my bad so um over here we need to update our answer so Again, you would, since you're taking the maximum, you take the max of it and current current um idle, and over here you would do the same for milking. So, answer of m would be the max of the answer m and current m. Okay, so now all we're left to do is to print out the answer. So it's f out answer m answer um it's answer i. Okay, so let's see if it's right. Let's run it. Okay, it's still compiling. Okay, let's like, yeah, so we have this. So I'll try submitting it to see if it works. So we need our header. So ID, I mean, this is ID, my ID is dong blue three. So put yours in. Over here we have our problem, which is called milk two. We also have our um the language of this, which is which I'm using C plus plus eleven. All right, so let's submit this. Let's go to this window. Okay. So main.cpp. Okay. Looks like this is right. So. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Bye. Nice.